Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now I see a lot of comments saying, hey Cleet, your video got me through a tough day. We appreciate that. But hey, listen guys, we're just a bunch of hooligans. And if our videos aren't enough, there is professional help. And that's where today's video sponsor, BetterHelp, can help you out. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. You simply visit BetterHelp's website at betterhelp.com slash Cletus, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like you. You'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours, so you'll get started pretty fast. I know we all spend our time and money keeping our hot rods in tip-top shape, but you can't forget about your mental health. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you and it's all from the comfort of your home you can do phone calls messaging video calls better help just makes it so easy visit betterhelp.com slash cletus or just choose cletus mcfarland at sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month thanks to better help for sponsoring today's video let's get to the live action hell yeah brother you're on the cletus mcfarland youtube channel yeah brother we got mullet up and running Sounding good? good oil, Ready to win this race, brother? Oh, yeah. We got good oil pressure? All right, all right. Woo! Tonight, guys, we're doing some testing with Mullen. We've got six summers starting up next week, so we got to make sure it's running good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sick Summer Testing. We're going to be driving this thing across the country next week and making a pass at all the drag strips we got to stop at. This guy right here and I. So tonight we're testing several of the cars in this competition are capable of running in the mid sixes. So we need to see a 650 or a 660 out of mullet tonight before we head on out. We got the big old fuel system in it for the road. We got the street front end on it, the big dog radiator. And I'm about to two-step check this thing so we can see how much boost it's making. <laughs> Sounded pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it sounded work. All right, a little too much. You gotta do something in there. Hey. Hold on, let me get you to the table you want to be on, okay? That's the one you want to be on. Hey. Turn the boost up. Hey. Crank that boost up, brother. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. Dang, we gotta make flurry out. Are we finally gonna run another six second pass? That's what we're hoping. Okay, well we put a looser stator in the converter. Yeah. So Wait. It should come up quicker and flash a little quicker. We'll see yeah. how it couples from there. But Hopefully we went the right direction. Yeah, I think it needs a, maybe a little bit tighter pump side to couple harder, but okay. we'll see. We'll see. Even if it didn't do, we got locked up. Yeah, cool. we do have a lock up. That's not, doesn't help me hard. early, but <laughs> don't matter, we make it about the back. So we yeah. went a 698, I think, forever ago. And we haven't been back in we the sixes seven, in a oh, long oh. time. Yeah, last time we tested a 700. So let's get well into the 60s. Yeah, so like a this, 680 would be yeah, great. This pass, I just want to go down the track because it's really hot out. Yeah. So if it goes down, cool. Then we can get some data and then look at oh, our okay. points and go from there. All so right. It up. Sounds good. Let it rip, Jackson. Also, it is 90 plus degrees out right now. So we might not get any real good runs till the sun goes down. Okay, guys. I hope this goes well. As you guys know, the name of the game on these drag and drive events is being able to adapt to. A lot of different racetrack surfaces we could have a really good track like our home track Bradenton at one place and then the next place just really hard prep you know so we're about to run it's really hot out we're gonna see what it'll do and uh, might have to adapt to this track even with it being so hot so it's a shot in the dark for the first pass of the day Pull it back in the game. All right, all right. Gonna tune her down a little bit there, Cleet. Yeah. Got a little excited. Got a little excited? It Put happened. a little too much juice in her? Yeah. All right, all right, it's okay. It happened. 
All right, hood going on. Yeah. Tighten up the front a little bit. Feel good about it? Better about it. All right. You guys feel good about it? I feel good about it. That's what I'm looking for. Just so everyone knows, that's the answer. I feel good. That's right. All right. I would slam the door, but it's carbon fiber, so I'll just I'll let you do that. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. got out there a little bit. The whole thing came all the way up and then yeah, you can see the it's, front it's slick there. out there though. The track temp's hot and out a little bit, it's, it's gooey, so. Yeah. Whatever the suspension change you guys did helped drastically. Yeah. <laughs> like I was yeah. I was shocked at how hard it hit and then uh got out there a little bit and spun. Put down a 121 60 foot and it's like the worst the track can get as far as temp. I think it spun everything. before the 60 foot. It looked like you shot yeah. out the probably like about to go 116 60 yeah. foot. I was actually pretty surprised. <laughs> All right, Jack Stan getting strapped into McFlurry. Let's see if this trans can get us going real fast today. All tuned up, dialed in. Jackson ready to make a rip. Let's go see what this baby will do. There we go. Blue stator goofing. Yep. See if it's bird likes it. You guys do a two-step check already? At the Actually, shop? we did not do a two-step check. Oh, man. Yeah, you say that. I'm change the out. converter, no two-step check. Nah. Why did we change the converter, Stater? It was a little tight before. On yeah, the two-step? I mean, barely in the same spot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have mentioned it. I just thought I missed it. He's dialed. It's McFlurry we're talking about here. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's turned out. Maybe it's a tough one sooner, but it definitely flashes harder. Flashes harder. Man. Let's leave RPM and a little bit slower boost ramp, and we loosen the front up just a little bit. Dude. That was aggressive. Why'd you floor it that hard? Oh, uh, that's just what I do, you know? Yeah. These cars are made to floor it. So I floored it and then I guess I just and here we to are. Floor it. <laughs> All right guys, we're pulling out for pass two and mullet. We did not change the tune. We're only changing suspension settings. So we slowed down the front ends travel, how fast it's moving. It kind of rose a little fast and then maxed out the front end. That's right where the tires got knocked off. And then we're raising the rear ride height just a little bit. Got mullet tooted up, looking, looking a lot more like mullet now. I like it. This baby gonna go right down Broadway this time around. Woo! Okay, okay. All right. 119 and 16 ain't bad. Ain't bad. Had the front wheels tooted up a little bit. Yeah. I got out there and said no. I'm done hooking. <laughs> All right, that was better. That'll give us something to look at. Woo! Made it a little bit. 11960 foot, a little spicy. Door hinge broke. Oh, your door hinge broke. 
tire's a little hard, broke my door. <laughs> hey, that's better than nothing. That's 19, better. Did it spin before the 330? Yes. I mean, at least we got something. Yeah, we're moving in the right direction, you know? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. What do we got different going on here? Um, well, I'm going to do everything the same. I'm going to floor it and what happens happens. <laughs> but uh, looks like my tuner, old Dr. Tuna Mall, turned this knob down a few clicks. In yeah. Here, so it's got some power knocked out of it, I think. And hopes we go down. Come on, man. All right. Feeling good about it? Do something good. I mean, I'm not feeling good about anything right now. <laughs> We're just here. <laughs> We're just here looking like idiots. <laughs> hey, it happens. Typically what we do. You know. And by the end of the night, look like not as big of idiots. Are there participation trophies at Sick Week? Sadly not. No, okay. <laughs> really need to turn tonight around. Yeah, soon. we got it, we got it. on my boy the heck dude and then we put we in all that anti -roll, anti roll bar in to try to get it to go back straight so now we have yeah. a good fix now it's got a bunch of anti roll bar and it's so just right got a whole bunch out wait but the other day yeah it was going hard right because i remember he's putting a bunch yeah. of left in it and we just and we were adjusting to that yeah and we change out again. the strut <laughs> now it's going yeah. left and he's got a bunch of right in we keep fighting it it's, now we're it's ping first rodeo now we know what we got going on Guys, in the mullet department, old Dr. Tuna Mall and I just realized that, well, it's more my fault. I had the chassis control a little too aggressive. So what was happening is it was pulling in and out power and kind of upsetting the chassis for yeah. no reason. Yeah. So we got that moved out of the way. It did pull a little bit of power out. We're just gonna see if it'll go down. We think it will now. What happened down here, Ty? Oh, you know, just a little uh, loose bolt shenanigans on the steering rack. Oh, got her <laughs> dialed in though? Oh yeah, she's nice and tight now. So, so she was just a little loose. Yeah. All right, so now she's good to go. Yep, yep. Easy fix. Easy fix. Now you're going to go straight. Just get rid of the bolts and just weld everything. You're done, dude. You're you're done. Done. <laughs> Big welder tie, dude. He's a man for the job. Let's go, mullet. Do something cool, yeah. finally. I'm feeling real good about this one. I might have said it before, but I'm saying it now. Come on, mullet. Give us something here. Alright, clean burner for mullet. go kicked him off mm. well right there before the 330 but son of a gun 117 60 foot yeah then all up in that trash control with a couple pedals 317 to the 330 473 at 163 to the eighth and went to uh he lifted then and went at 774 at 133 about a second off where he wants to be yeah well she uh she got a little crazy out there a little spunky yeah, she, out there she got on that trash control pretty hard yeah but hey that's racing. Hey, it's racing. Whoa, whoa! We are getting closer. That's my path. 
that. Alright, 117.60 foot. I know, but why is it spinning way up there? I'm like, bullet! Get it together, dude. What did it go to the aid? 473 on 163. Honestly, a 460's all we really need. Yeah, so, ideally we're not having to be on the attraction and not having yeah. to pedal it. If it didn't spin, it would have got like a 50. I mean, 163 mile an hour is enough for a 430. <laughs> yeah. 163 <laughs> mile an hour, you go 430. If we could just, you know, not spin the tire. It felt like the front end was real hiked up. It tooted up, I mean, it was carrying, but it looked good. It had the tire plane, it was rolling, and just yeah. said, I'm done. She's so, carrying a tire for a hot minute. Why it would spin all the way out there. It's already so hooked up, bar angle. hiked up. Tide says bar angle. It'll go down where it's at. You might just have to pull some out of it or something. I don't know. Unbelievable. Where, wearing me the hell out. <laughs> All right, so kind of find out the steering rack has uh, come loose, so uh, Ty got it all tightened up. So hopefully uh, it has some steering input now and stops pulling the car to the left. In the McClory department, we've gone ahead and just simmered the tune. We're yeah. like, we got to get these damn cars down the track. So we're simmering. We're in the simmer stage. Let's just see if we can get down <laughs> at least yeah. today. Uh, we need something. It's dark out now. Been out here all day. I know. But hey, yeah. we are making progress. Yes, we are. A little yeah, further, tiny I mean, steps. Little, little tiny ones, but better than nothing. Yep. Man, it probably looks good when the sun goes down, boy. That blue is shining. That little uh, uh, I mean, she's ready. Seven oh five. It turned way down at one ninety seven. She was kind of all over the place there for a minute. Dang, seven oh five. So one twenty one sixty foot, three oh eight to the three thirty, four sixty flat, one sixty. What are you going to Seven oh five. Damn. Yeah, we need a little bit early now. The tracks there, we probably hit it a little harder. It back half. Good dude. One ninety seven. Yeah. And the air sucks. Yeah, the air is horrible. So the stator maybe. It definitely helped. I'm sure it helps on gear changes too. We'll just have to pull up the log and look. Something is getting past where it's happy and it's starting to try to pick the tire up is what that noise is. Hopefully y'all can hear it in the video. It's definitely uh, not how it used to be. It's definitely kind of like all over the place. So. But yeah, we'll see what it ran and uh, go from there. That's pretty fast, huh? I don't know what it ran. Well, it went a 705, brother. Saw it. Dude, was she fighting you up top there or something? Oh, I don't know what moved or changed, but this thing's pissed going down the track. It's yeah, like it darty all over the place, yeah. and then like 900 foot on, it's getting on the tire and rah, 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 for the rest of the way. But figure we get what the data. Fast, though. Yeah, I mean 705, 197. 197. If it go straight, it would have probably been another 700. Something's not where it was, or something's not happening. See, good thing we didn't weld them bolts, like you said. It's it's mad up top. Let's take a look. <laughs> well, guys. Another pass, another slew of su suspension adjustments, and we actually reduced the horsepower even a little bit more. It's like whenever you don't run the car for a while, it's, you take so many steps back. It's just we changed all the bars to go to that 275, and we didn't really write down what we had before because we barely tested before that. So it's just a disaster. <laughs> Like starting over. Mola used to spin the tires trying to go 790s, so at least we're faster than that. Alright. Now the track is dialed. The air is better. Mullet, the 
it's all up to you. What the heck, dude? Come on. Killing me, mullet. Well, it gets on that thing aggressive. Yeah, it does. Man, I was feeling good about that one. I don't know what to say, bud. Tune them all. You know what to say? No, this thing sucks. <laughs> Ty, you know what to say? <laughs> no words for this car. Very sensitive to minor changes, I think. Yeah. Very sensitive. You didn't change a whole tonight. lot, did you? Just, just, you turned a little bit down a little bit of suspension, just a shock setting. Man, but. You did three clicks in the front, three in the back. Yeah. yeah that was it did not go as far. Just loosen the back back up and see what it does. Yeah. <laughs> we're rolling the dice out here, man. Hey, hey, at least we're having fun, right? <laughs> oh, having so much fun. <laughs> All right, well, I guess, yeah. It could definitely be worse. It could be worse. It could definitely yeah, we could be not worse. Yeah. Be racing at all. It is still running. Hey, loosen that thing up. Loosen that thing up. Huh? These square tires. <laughs> They're acting like it. They look around, but they identify as square. For real, man. All right, brother. Hey, all right. Loose as a uh, goose. Make you guys proud. That's right. Come on, mullet. Yeah. No. So that's gonna probably be a bar thing there. It just gets to a certain point of the shock and just. Oh man. Dude, 119 to the 60 foot, 301 to the 330, 448 with a one at 169 mile an hour. Go. Take it to a 674 at 215. Nice, dude. All right, it's done. I wouldn't call it done. You gotta do it again <laughs> and again and again and again and again and then it'll be done. For real. Oh wow, I lost all power. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> I let off a little early because it was tire shaking up top. Oh my gosh, what a battle. Still didn't feel that stable. I don't know what to say. I am happy it went down, but I'm just like, what the heck? Well guys, we're down here, but I've got no power. The power switch is on but no one's home. So I have no electricity in here. I should turn the dash on, but <laughs> nothing's happening. What'd you do? I don't know, I can tell you, shaking the damn tire so hard up there at the big end, I like had the lift. It was like gonna knock the wind out of me, dude. Yeah, it's, it's your time it's slip, bud. What, what the hell's going on? 448 is enough for a 660, 650. Yeah, yeah, they did what you wanted it to do. You wanted a 670, you got it. On a rough one. I ain't happy with <laughs> That was a rough pass. It was very unstable in the car. Really? Lost power. I mean, okay. what the hell's going on? Well, that's not good. I, I barely call it a success. It was like a... Interesting. Kind of like a Hail Mary. Okay, you know, wow. Well, lucky geez, run every I know. Yeah, one lucky run every race, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of data. Plus, I didn't realize we had one of my chutes knocked off here, so I was... Staining on that race. <laughs> what mile an hour did it go? 215. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 170 in the eighth. TBM brake said, I got you, brother. Don't worry. Always. So, made it pass, but the tire shook so bad it uh, knocked its own power out. So, yeah. time to reevaluate <laughs> and rerun. And Flurry, it's so unstable. It reminds me of Jack Stan's high school relationships. Yeah. Okay? It's unsafe to operate <laughs> that vehicle right now. So, we're going to revisit that. 
You guys what, put it on a line on machine or what do you? Yeah, dude, so at the time it had a point uh, when he did the struts, there's adjustment in the spindle to strut. So there's no saying that that went back to being where it was, so that yeah. could cause a little bit of a darty issue. All right, well, let's try and make some miracle happen with Molo before the night's over. <laughs> yeah, because Zach, you fix the wire dude. stuff. Dude. We'll get the <laughs> tune. I can't get the tune until he gives me power. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to have any play in it, but I just remembered I did donuts on these tires in Indy. You do what? I was in the burnout pit on these tires in oh, Indy. Do you remember that? <laughs> Guy that. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you glad I asked you how old they were? <laughs> I just it just hit me that these are the tires I was doing donuts on in the burnout pit. You know this is a race like drag car, right? I mean it did really good burnouts. Do you think that's the problem? Could that be our issue right I now? I mean they probably done freaking the lamb almost because right they got I did four donuts. Yeah. I only do donuts on my race car by accident. I never on purpose. Honestly, guys, my bad. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just realized. Right, we were on the three fifteens, weren't we? I put them on to go to. Yeah, I just realized. I wow. put them on. We came here, then went to Andy. That's one of those like, oof. Do you have tires? Uh, two sets, brand new. Stickers well, go them. snag them. Let's let's turn you on swap route. All right, guys. We already got our tires off. It's only been like ten minutes. Cause we're that like fast. Speed rock. Hibachi Tire and Auto. <laughs> just getting after it so we're actually going to switch to these 315 pro bracket radials which are more like a slick compound which is actually better for worse tracks so. yeah for more mediocre this stuff. might be perfect this might have been meant to be, meant to be yeah. Lots of scrub mint stuff, yeah. note to self don't do donuts on your drag tires never works out good yep learn something new every day seen this video one. wait we gotta flip the tire now oh good call <laughs> you sure? Yeah. These are bad? Yeah, they're the, you're literally at a wear bar already, but look at like the copier of the tire. See that? Look how wavy it is. Oh, my fault, dude. <laughs> Maybe. All right, here we go. We got new tires on this thing. We got a real bad wiring problem. I don't know where Zach is at, but he's stressed out. It's bad, okay? The weird thing about this next pass is I have to use a pull wire to shut the car off. Okay, we're not even gonna get into the details of why that is. But it's sketchy, okay? So let's go make a lick, see what we can get done. Okay, the last hour has been something special. The switch panel up here has somehow lost power to Zach's and back feeding it. It's a very odd situation. It's gonna be a sporty burnout, boys. Big. Sporty. Burnout. What's gotta, why is he doing a big burnout, man? Fresh tires, you gotta set them. You gotta get them set scrubbed them, in. You gotta scrub beat them, them a little bit. You know? Yeah. They get like it. Right. They like it. Get them right. <laughs> Here we go. Think that'll do the trick, Nate? She ain't happy. Wiring wise, I think it's still off. It sounds like it's losing ignition. Yeah, she ain't, she ain't happy right now. Oh, ho, ho. dang it. We're going at 123 to the 60 foot. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> one way to do it. It, uh, it didn't want to shift. Yeah, yeah. that's what it sounded like. So, air pressure oh. but I know we need to set the tires as you were saying so it kind of worked out good dude <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you it felt so smooth dude yeah. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. locked <laughs> in it was perfect it was like we had a brand new set of tires on it yeah weird crazy Pretty crazy <laughs> it was slow too though I don't even realize it oh I know it's slow it's like the boost controller wasn't on or something yeah. Yeah. I think there was definitely something not right yeah. and the reason and then it also didn't shift I'm wondering if it I had it in race mode, you know, but I don't know if the switch panel being broken, it knew that. What did it go, like one? 123, 60 foot. Yeah, so it's not super far off, but definitely not right. Okay. All right. But it was so smooth. So yeah. Let's go that now. That's big. Fresh tires, you know. They do that. All right, guys, well, we just realized 
we're missing NPT fitting in our blow valve. So, big old boost leak. We're still in this, brother. Still in. Hey, was right on the starting. I know, yeah. The BMP guy brought it over to us. I'm sitting here testing. Next thing you know. I'm hearing a bunch of air over here. I'm like, let me just go look and see. <laughs> this here, Fajit. Fitting on the bottom of the gate? Yeah, the, the Fajit. Fitting on the bottom of the gate. Done got rubbed <laughs> by the turf. It's Fajit to fall apart. It's, it's Fajit <laughs> fell apart. Dang, dude. Probably one on McFlurry. Yeah, got the parts over here. <laughs> parts bin. <laughs> Guys, I'm so glad we tested. I mean, this has been a complete disaster of a test session, but it's a lot better than doing it up in Illinois on six summer. Well, we can only get a couple runs a day, you know? This is great. It's when you figure out all the stuff, man. Race car stuff. Never goes as perfect as you want it to, so I'm sure we'll have our battles during the week, but hopefully a lot less now just this test out. Bunch of problems solved. Baby's running good right now. This is it right here, boys. This is it right here. To a drag and drive with a car that's running like this one is beyond my stupidity. <laughs> I <laughs> this car can't go unless we get another test session. We got a lot of problems. I mean, the freaking switch panel's in here flashing at me. It was flashing all of a sudden, it's running on two cylinders, then six, then eight, and then it knocks tires off. So, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> There's a chance we can sort it out, but otherwise, uh. I mean, maybe we can try and sort it out tomorrow and get a rental. It's a rental Friday. This thing absolutely has to go down the track again before we even think about taking it a couple hours from home, let alone 20 hours. So, yeah. damn, that was a, I mean, well, for lack of a better word, shit show of a test session. <laughs> Organized chaos. It's been a while since you your ass kicked yeah. like that. <laughs> that was brutal. We did not do good today, <laughs> but hey, Still better than not being out here racing, you know what I mean? The only it. thing good today was Dave's dinner that he made. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> the only thing that went well for us. All right, so I'm not even gonna outro the video. Let's get back to the shop, figure out what's wrong tomorrow. All right, so trying to figure out what kind of demons are in this wiring harness. So I actually just figured it out after probably about an hour. So our whole switch family, see I got that apart, took it down. Realized that our wiring was good to here at least, but we weren't getting power. So I started following the wire back to the battery cutoff switch and you can actually see the carbon fiber has our wire pinched and you can see where it's melted into there right there. And a lot of people don't know, but carbon fiber can pass electricity. If you have a power wire going through it, it will ground to the car. Oh, yep, see that? So that's what was happening going down the track, right there. There's your smoke right there. You never want to let that stuff out. All right, I got it all apart, and as you can see here, the panel is burn up pretty good right there, and our wiring is melted, and our power wire is broken, as you can see, and that's why our whole switch panel went down and our battery cutoff switch, because there's a secondary cutoff in our switch panel so Garrett can kill the power at any time. Being that the wire, I stripped it back a little bit. It's still good right here. It's not melted at all really past that point. So I'm gonna put a Deutsch connector in there and put it all back together. All right, as you can see, I got the switch panel apart. So when this thing was arcing out, it actually took out the kill switch on our panel. So we're gonna have to order one of these and we just won't have a secondary kill but we'll still have the kill switch on the back of the car. All right guys, so as you can see, we got our wire 
repaired. Put a little connector on there. Kind of tucked up over here out the way. Switch panel is all back together. Just got to throw that back up in there. It's crazy. All of this over one bolt missing. This bolt had vibrated out at some point, causing this panel to be able to, you know, move around, flop around, causing that wire to get pinched. Got to put Loctite on everything in this car because everything vibrates out. Basically that thing just vibrated out and caused the wire to get pinched in there, shaking around, rattling, wore right through the wires. But luckily it showed us another spot as well that was starting to wear through, you can see our wires. So I'll patch that up as well, put it all back in, we'll be good. Heavy, heavy, heavy unit. Wow. What are we doing here? Wow, so we're 3,600 with me in it. Yeah. Well, we have that weight in the back right now. Now what? 3,800 pounds. 36, 51, 52. 54 on the nose. 54 on the nose. Hey, Sam, we got you something. Uh, Mr. Sam's Spray Lax Express. <laughs> is that beautiful or what? It sure <laughs> is. <laughs> Dang, I'll tell you what, it's going to look good. It is. sweet. Perfect name. Probably not gonna peel off well because there's so much damn spray wax on this thing. I was thinking the same thing. Oh. It really is. <laughs> Dude, Zach's excited out here. Oh, we finally got a real deal tire pressure gauge. Wow, look at us. Dude, this thing now we're so drag racers, guys. Now we're racing. Watch how much better today's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're cooling off. Mola just drove it over here. Everything's good. Wiring's fixed. Rear end stuff is fixed because our drive shaft was stabbing into the back of the trans. Bar angle changed. Oh, we've gone over everything, guys. So we're hoping that we can have a better day today and be good to go for six summer. Literally, can't have much go wrong or we won't make it to six summer. So let's really hope the rest of this testing video goes well. New day, new wires. New tune-up, new tires. Come on, mullet, do something new right here, baby. Oh. Well, she sounds about 10 million times better than she did. What is that? 690. Okay. I'd say it liked <laughs> It liked all that stuff. It liked all that stuff. So that was a soft 126 60 foot, 313 to the 330, 462 at 167 to the eighth, to a 6900 at 218 out the back in the corner. Not too freaking shabby, dude. Not you know? too bad. <laughs> Just had to get you right, brother. Granted, we hit the traction control a couple of times, but that was a pretty quick run for a hot, hot, hot track. Yeah, I bet. I bet that felt real good. A full pass. Dude. With the sun shining. It was beautiful. It was majestic. Wow. What did it run? Only a 126.60 foot. Yeah. 462 at 167 through the middle. 6900 at 218. 462 is pretty good in the eighth. That's solid. So 690 on the first run? Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> what was the track temperature? Anyone get it? It was 127 before they started prepping. I mean, that's hot. It's, yeah, it's hot. Well, it's a high of 75 where we're going this week. I don't think it'll be that hot. You'll never, yeah. If you start in the morning, you won't get that hot. might have just here. got a good little base tune up. I'm going to be honest. The other night, it was kind of me tuning in with Nate just glancing at it. That tune there, all Pete. I hit up Pete. <laughs> I said, bro. We're struggling. 
and he just said, try this. And here we are. Plus, you know, all the things Zach repaired. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of repairs. A lot of different things now, but she's good. That felt good, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Getting loaded up. Yep, Pete sent another tune. We got a lot of good data from that run. We made that bar change in the shop, but now the rear is not extending nearly as much as it was. We may have to go backwards with the suspension adjustments, but it worked, so. Yeah. I don't know. I think he added a little bit of power. We added some suspension clicks to the front end to slow down its travel. So we tightened that up. And now we're just gonna see if we can make it down through there again and a little bit faster. And fresh drive shaft sensor. Oh yeah, true. We had some ugly drive shaft data, which that messes with the traction control. So I don't even know if it was actually spinning the tire last round or if it was just the sensor freaking out. So All right. we got Let's a freshie. There we go. 683 219. So a little better. Picked up some short a little bit out the back. Went 122 instead of 126 that time. Went a 456 instead of a 460. And went a 683 at 219. All right, better. moving in the right direction. Better. That's right. Good run, but we had an issue that I felt. I felt the boost drop off in the middle of the pass, and I saw the beginning of this issue on the last pass, and it got worse on this one. The boost controller is getting whacked out because it's getting a dirty electrical signal from the dome pressure sensor. So the boost controller thinks the boost spikes, so it drops boost, and then it figured it out, but still, that probably killed the mid range of our runs. Slow down. No, it, no. it sped up. Oh, it did. Yeah, 122, 60 foot, 456 at 166, and one at 683 at 219. Okay, well that's good because I thought it slowed down. You got to know. This is our dome pressure data going straight wild. Well, find the needle in the haystack, bud. Look at the top cover of this right block. Oh no! All the bolts backing out. Well. See that doing it. Just That's where that, our dome pressure goes. Just that chatter alone right there. That can do it for sure. Noise. noise can cause noise. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so you can see our front end is coming up and hitting a limiter. We're gonna try and slow that down this pass too. Our bar angle I don't love very much because we're only getting four inches of extension, which is a little better than the last pass. But more power we'll get more extension. So let's go try this run. Here we go, pass number three for the night. Mullet, pass by pass, get more and more dialed in. We're gonna see what we got here. Man, that's, now that's how mullet's supposed to be sounding, looking, acting. That's what I'm talking about. Six seventy four at two twenty, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Much, much better. Much better. Nice one nineteen sixty foot, four forty nine at one sixty nine. Much better to the eighth, and then six seventy four at two twenty out the back. Shoo!
talking about? Yeah, buddy. Three in a row? Three in a row, brother. Too far. <laughs> Good run, brother. 119 to the 60. 449 at 169. Yep, 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 yep. 674 at 220. Yep, 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 yep. Not bad. Not bad. Great progress. Not bad at all. Fantastic Smooth. progress. <laughs> Smooth. Feels like we're back to uh, normal mullet stuff, but let's look at the data. I'm curious if the dome crash thing still happened or not. But I'm happy. We're moving faster. Look at that. Blue line. Steady as can be. That's my dog, Zach. Right there. You. Let's go. That's nice. All right, so pass four here, guys. We got a bar adjustment. We made the four link a little bit more aggressive. So kind of now that we got everything working, <laughs> we're gonna try to make it work better. You know, not a major adjustment. Shouldn't make a world of a difference. Hopefully it still hooks and we can go down Broadway and uh, make a successful run here. All right, Mola, here we go. There we go, there we go. Six sixty-two at two twenty-one. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. That is it. One fifteen to the sixty. Two nine five with a zero to the three thirty. Four thirty-nine with an O at one hundred seventy-two mile an hour to the eighth. To a six sixty-two at two twenty-one out the back. Man, what a good night. What a change up from the other night, dude. Only one, it went 15, 60 oh, point. Oh, it did? 295 at the zero. Oh. Yeah, 439 yeah. at 172, and then 662 at 221. Yes. It was clean. Just cooking. <sighs> Guys, that feels good. Yeah. Did you hear how all the other passes tonight, it was revving way out on the 2-3 shift? Yeah. That yes. pass shifted right on time. Everything was right. I mean, I think we got what we wanted. That was probably the cleanest pass of the night. And the fastest at that. We sorted out yeah. a lot of problems to get to this moment, guys. Yeah. Good job, everybody. And the way the track was on that, it wasn't like you just reprepped it. It was what we've been running on. Yeah, so it wasn't out. a wasn't a perfect a track. More out. Yeah. All right. Well, I think if you're good with it, I'm good with it. I'm good with I mean, it. You and I got to deal with this thing all week. So yeah. he's yeah, already got to say. Are you good with it? Yeah. We should probably go ahead and get some sleep for all the right. problems it could give us. The Listen, sleep. guys. Tune in. To freedomplus.com starting Monday through Friday, Zach and I will be out racing mullet on six summer. You're freaking driving this thing across the country. So get on there. That was a battle. This is a long video, and uh, all in one video, you get to see the trials and tribulations of owning a drag racing car. We went from good to really bad up to great. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. That's from Frog and Racing. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Oh, and shout out to Pete. Real good at doing stuff. Very helpful with his tuning ability. Great guy.